So here in this question, we're told that a sequence of numbers denoted by a1, a2, a3, and so on, is defined by the following formula. So we have that the n plus 1 term is going to be equal to k multiplied by a n plus 2, all divided by a of n. And we're told that n is a natural number. This is what this n means here. And we're told that k is a constant. So this k here is a constant number. We're told that the sequence is a periodic sequence of order 3. And we're told that a1 is equal to 2. And we're asked to show that k squared plus k minus 2 is equal to 0. And we're asked to do this for 3 marks. So I've just copied our equation down here. And what do we know? So we know that a1 is equal to 2. So we first need to have a think, what is a1? So we know that this is going to be the first or the initial term. And we're told that it has a period of order 3. So this means that after every three items in the sequence, after every three numbers in the sequence, it's going to go back and repeat. So this is going to be key to helping us. So how are we going to do this? So we're going to work out what a sequence is in terms of k. And how can we do this? We can do this because we know that a1 is equal to 2. Since we have that a1 is equal to 2, we can say that a of 2 is going to be equal to k. And we're going to multiply that by a of 1, which is 2. And we add on 2, and then we divide that by 2. So what's this going to be equal to? This is going to be equal to 4k over 2, which is equal to 2k. So then we can now, now we have a2, so we can do the same and substitute this into our formula. So therefore, we can have a3, it is going to be equal to k, and we're going to multiply that by a2, which is 2k, and we add 2, and then again we divide by 2k. So what's this going to be? So we're going to simplify this and we're going to have 2k squared plus 2k. Then we divide all that by 2k. And then what we can do now is if we divide everything by 2k, this is going to leave us with k plus 1. And we have this because everything cancels out. This 2k and 2k cancel, which leaves us with 1. And then this 2k squared cancels with the 2k, which leaves us with k. So then what we can do, we can repeat this process again, and we can find the fourth term. So we have the a4 is going to be equal to, or we're going to have k, and we're going to multiply it by k plus 1. And then we're going to add 2, and then we're going to divide by k plus 1. So what's this going to be equal to? This is going to be equal to k lots of k plus 3, and then we're going to divide this by k plus 1. So we've used this first piece of information we've given. So we've used that a1 is equal to 2 to work out a2, then a3, and a4. But we're going to stop here. And why is this? We know that we have a periodic sequence of order 3. So what does this mean? So this means here that a4 is going to equal a1. So therefore, because of this, we know that a4 is going to be equal to a1. So we can say that a4 is equal to a1. So we had a4, it was going to be equal to k lots of k plus 3. And we divide all of that by k plus 1. And we set that equal to 2 because that was our value for a1. So then we'll rearrange this and we'll have, so we'll first expand our bracket. So we'll have k multiplied by k, which is k squared. And then we'll add on 3k. And then if we multiply both sides by this denominator here, k plus 1, we'll then have two lots of k plus 1, which is equal to 2k plus 2. We can then simplify this further. What does this give us? So it's going to give us k squared, and then we're going to subtract 2k from both sides. So that's going to leave us with 3k minus 2k, which is k, and then we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. So there we go, minus 2, and then this is going to leave us with nothing on the other side. And we look back to our question, what were we asked to show? We were asked to show k squared plus k minus 2 is equal to 0. We looked at what we've got here, and we have k squared plus k minus 2 is equal to 0. So we write a note in here, as required, as this is what the question asked us for.
So therefore, looking back, this question was worth three marks, and we're going to just go over where we picked up our marks. We get our first mark for using the sequence formula, the one that we're given in the question. This is a formula for a of n, and we get one mark for using this once with a1 equal to 2. So this is when we got to this stage here. So we've used our formula once with a1 equal to 2. We then receive our second mark for setting a4 equal to a1. So that's when we stated it just here. And then we receive our third and final mark for concluding with the correct answer, which the question asks us to show. So in part B of this question, we're asked for this sequence to explain why k is not equal to 1. So what we've got here, these are our first four terms of the sequence. This was from part A, where we had 2, 2k, k plus 1, and k lots of k plus 3 over k plus 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in k equals 1. So we'll just write here for k equals 1, we have, so there is no k term here, so we'll have that a1 is going to be equal to 2. Then we substitute k equals 1 into our equation for a2, and it is going to lose with 2 lots of 1, which is 2. And for a3, what we have, we'll have 1 plus 1, which is 2. And then for our fourth term in the sequence, we'll have 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So therefore, what we can see here, we have that all the terms are the same. And this means that the sequence no longer has a period of order 3. So just writing this down, we'll say that since all the terms are the same, the sequence no longer has a period of order 3. And this means that k cannot equal 1 for the sequence. This question was worth 1 mark, and we received our 1 mark here when we stated the conclusion that all terms were the same, and this is why for this sequence, k cannot equal 1. So now in part C of this question, we're asked to find the value of our sequence from r equal to 1 all the way to 80. So we recall in part A that we had our expression k squared plus k minus 2 is equal to 0. So if we solve this for k, we can have, we take out factors of negative 1 and 2, so this is going to be k minus 1 and k plus 2. That's going to be equal to 0. So therefore, we have that k is equal to 1 and k is equal to negative 2. But we know that k equals 1, this is not a valid solution for this sequence because of part b. So I'll just note that down. And we'll just put in brackets there, part b. So therefore, we have that k is going to be equal to negative 2. So then we know from the previous part of the question that these are values of our first four terms. So we can now use k equal 2 and substitute these in. So therefore, what do we have? We have that a1 is equal to 2. We have that a2 is equal to negative 4. We have that a3 is going to be equal to negative 2 add 1, so negative 1. And then a4, that's going to be equal to 2. And then we know because of the period 3, this is going to continue to repeat. So I'll just highlight these here. So we know that these three, we can annotate this in purple here. So these are going to be repeating terms. So what do we want to do again? We want to find the sum of the first 80 terms. So if we have 80 terms and we know they are going to be in threes. So what we can do is we can sum a certain number of these three terms and then we may have a remainder. So how do we work this out? So if we have 80, we're going to divide this by 3, because this is the order of the periodicness. So we'll have 80 divided by 3. This is going to be equal to 26.6666. So that's 26 and 2 thirds. So this means we're going to have 26 lots of these first three terms. And then we will have one of our first term and one of our second term left over. So therefore, we can say, so what we're looking for, we're looking for the sum of our first 80 terms from r equals 1, our sequence, which is here done by ar. So what's this going to be? So this is going to be equal to, what well, we're going to have here, 26 lots of our first three terms summed. So we're going to have 26 multiplied by 2, and we subtract 4, and we subtract 1, and then we have our Two thirds of our terms left over, so that's going to be here. Two thirds is a two and a negative four, 
So we'll then add on two and subtract four. So then we put this into our calculator. What's this going to be equal to? This is going to be equal to negative 80. Therefore, we've completed the question and we've found that the sum of the first 80 times of our sequence is going to be negative 80. This question was worth three marks and we received our first mark for deducing that the repeating terms were going to be two, negative four, negative one. So that was here we got our first mark. We then receive our second mark for knowing to multiply these three times by 26 and then adding on two and negative four. And then we received our third and final mark for concluding with the correct answer, which was negative 80.